Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam, and you're watching UiPath Automations. Now, in today's video, we are going to continue our previous video where we created a Google Cloud Vision API in console.cloud.google.com. And we are going to go ahead and use this API to create some wonderful workflow in UiPath. Now, as you can see on screen, this is the API which we have generated in the previous video. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy. You can see the link of the video on the top right corner. You can, in case if you missed earlier video, now let's navigate back to UiPath. Now, in, in order to use the Google Cloud Vision package, <clears throat> what wonderful things we can do. So there are so many things we can do. But first of all, today we are going to see how can we use web search for a specific image. You heard me right. Now, this sounds a wonderful idea. So let's go ahead and click on official. We need to first of all download the package. So we'll get Google Vision and uh, we have Google Vision right here. We'll install, save it. So this gives us a package of uipath.googlevision.com I and mean, .activities. Now in the activities, you need to type Google and that's it. You have Google Vision. Now, first of all, you need to take the Google Vision scope. So I'll drag it here. I'll create a variable called as API key, where I will save this particular API, which we just copied from Google. Okay, and then we will change this Google Vision scope from authentication to API key. And if you remember earlier, I have told you that we can use API key, authentication, client ID or service account. That depends on us how we create our account here in the credentials, create credentials. So you have API key, you have authentication and you have service account, all these three, which we are using API key right now. Uh, and we are going to pass here API key variable and that's it. So this is done. Now, this is like a scope, Excel application scope. So this is similar to that. So we need to use our activities provided by Google Vision within this vision scope. So we have so many activities which we are going to look at one by one. But first of all, let's look at web detection. So when we use web detection, what exactly it does? And if you want to know what exactly it does, so just click on the web detection and click on the help option. Uh, once you navigate to the help option, you can see it navigates back you to do UiPath's documentation, where you can see this web detection can be used to identify, to give as input, which is image path. So you give input as an image and you get output. You can get four multiple things as an output. So first could be full matching images. So list of all the URLs, which leads you to the images that fully matches with the input image. Second, gets you to pages with matching images. So uh, web pages where this images may contain. Now the first output is going to be all the images, exact link of the images within those web pages. And the second output gives you list of string, which contains URL, which contains that specific image. I know it's confusing, but we'll see that in some time. Partial matching images gives you a list of all the URLs which point to images that contains images similar to inputted image. And the last is web entities. So list of key pair values, which is giving you a dictionary type of variable that contains term that can be used to search for the specific image as a key and score of the respective search term value. Okay. So this first two, we are going to go ahead and let's look at this first two because the third one, the fourth one is going to give us a huge amount of result. So let's go ahead and let's try to see how can we utilize and check uh, from web, whether our image matches with uh, how many you know websites? So let's go to UiPath back. Now we need image for that. I don't have any image, so let's go and search. Let's see car. So I'm searching car. I'll go to images. Uh, let's pick the first one because this is a best picked car. So let's say I download this image. I say save image as, and I say here as a, so not a car. Okay, and I save it here in my pictures. That's it. Let's navigate back to UI path. That's it. That's it. What I did. I close this one. Let's navigate to image path in the web detection pictures. And we have Sonata car. Save it. You can add image URL also if you want to, but I'm giving image path. I downloaded the image and saved it in my local folder. Now, which one do you want? So let's say we want, first of all, full matching images. And I'll, I'll say control K and I will say this is as a list of matching images, okay? 
Now, as this is a list of matching images, this variable definitely will be array of string. Now, all we need to do, so let's increase the scope of this one, make it flowchart. All we need to do is how to travel a string array. So we'll use for each loop here. We will drag right here for each loop for each string. What are we going to do is this is a image. So for each string in list of matching images, what we are going to do is we are just going to say right line for the first time because we want to check whether this really gives any output. So let's say image is because image is the each image URL, which is going to be saved from this list of matching images. Let's go back and let's execute. And that's all about it. That's our workflow. That's it. Nothing else. We just use two activities, vision scope and which one? The web detection. Now let's go and check the output. You have list of all the links. Now let's see if this links actually works because all the links are navigating to JPG, as you can see at the end. That means these are all images. Now let's have a look at first of all, which image we have provided as an input. So this is the image which we provided as an input to this web detection. Now let's see if it finds the similar car within all these images. It's because the output is supposed to be exact matching images, right? So in order to check whether it is redirecting to the rightful image, instead of right line or with the right line, we will say open browser and we will open all these links in Chrome browser. So let's say image and we will open it in Chrome browser. And let's try to see what do we get. So let's say run. Okay, so I can see there are a couple of Chrome browsers which are open and the workflow stopped. So workflow took only seven seconds to identify images which are matching with our car. Now let's have a look at all the images. So this is our first browser. We will close this one because we don't need it as of now. Now let's look at all the images. So it has opened several Chrome instances. So the first one is exactly matching. It's from investingcode.com. Okay, we'll close this. Let's see the next one is the same car and the next one and the next one. So it has navigated to all the images. It has identified from web exactly matching images with the car, which we have given as an input. As you can see, all the browsers it has opened with those links, which contains those images. Okay, now we are pretty much assured that it is working perfectly fine. Now let's see the use of second one, which is pages with matching images. I'm going to use the same variable right here. I'm not going to change the variable. And instead of full matching images, I just made it as page matching with the images. So that means it is going to navigate this to the pages, not the images directly. Pages where this red colored car might be present. Now let's go ahead and let's say run. And let's see if we get to the right image. Okay. Now, a lot of browsers are open instances of browser. Okay. So we have so many of the browsers. Let's check one by one. So this one contains this image. Okay. I just saw it here. So this page contains this image done. This page contains the image. Yes, I can see it right here. Honda Accord. I can see the image. I guess this is the same one. Now the next page, let's navigate to all the pages. So this page, Cora, this one has this image. Where is it? 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 We need to check whether this page has the link and where does it have the link of the specific car or it might have the link of the car image navigating to that specific image, you know, it might have. Okay, you can see here, now this person has his profile picture as his car and our cloud vision has identified this image. I mean, this particular Cora page link just by the profile picture of this person. So this is, this is wonderful. I'll close this one. Let's look at the next one. Okay, so this is also uh, the profile picture of some car shop. So I'll just close this one too on Facebook. We are again back on Quora. Let's check, check, check. And this person again, Abhay Singh. Bro, you need to change your profile picture, you know? 
Okay, so we have this here on Pinterest also. Wonderful. The same car. Okay, Amazon. What on Amazon? Or oh, sorry, this is extreme tech. Sorry, it looks just like Amazon. Okay, we have this car again right here. Now this is something investing port. As you can see, we have this car. So earlier, this image was from this particular website. You know when we search only specific to images. Now, again, on this page also, and on the last page, let's find out the car, whether it has right here, and yep, we have it. So this is working wonderful as of now. So we have now navigated and <clears throat> explored web detection activity from Google Vision Scope package. Isn't this wonderful? Now let's go ahead and we will navigate even more of this particular activities in our next couple of video. I hope you loved this video. Try to use it somewhere and create a best use case out of it. And let me know if you like this video. Your one like and subscribe will help me a lot to increase the scope. Thank you so much for watching and happy automation.